Hey everybody, my name is Essence and I'm an educator here at the Glacier Children's Museum. And welcome to GCM at Home. Um, today we are going to be talking about snowflakes. Now since we are located in Tampa, Florida, we don't have a lot of snowflakes falling from the sky. So we are going to make a snowflake today. And I thought that it might be a good chance um, to teach us a little bit of math, a little bit about symmetry, um, and have a little fun and creativity with this project. So if you're interested in doing, making this snowflake with me today, all you're going to need is a sheet of paper, um, maybe a couple sheets of paper. I have this nice blue color here for my snowflake. You're going to need a ruler. We're going to cut this paper up into some strips. So you're gonna need either a paper cutter or some scissors. And lastly, you'll need some tape. So once you got all of your materials, you can pause the video here and then come back when you're ready. And then let's get started making our snowflake and learning about symmetry, shapes, and doing some math. Okay, to start our project off, you'll need um, a piece of paper. Um, I prefer this nice blue color. And you're gonna cut some, some of these pieces of paper up into drips. So you'll need three different sizes, then you're going to cut them into different lengths. So you'll have one that is one whole 10 inches, then you will have 12 in these sizes, um, and this is um, eight and a half inches long and one inch wide. And then for your smaller ones, you're going to need um, four and a half inches long and one inch wide. So again, four and a half, eight and a half, and then 10 inches long. So now we are going to go ahead and start to make our snowflake. I have my tape here ready to go, um, and I have all of my strips of paper ready um, to start making our snowflake. So we're gonna start off with our longest piece and we want to turn this into a square. Do you guys know that shape, a square? How many sides are in a square? That's right, there are four sides in a square. So we need to um, fold our piece of paper here so that we have four equal sides. Now we're gonna open this up and we have now made a square our corners and so now we're going to use some tape to tape this together perfect so I have one square now we are going to make 12 triangles so we're gonna take our um, eight and a half by one inch um, strips of paper and we're going to fold these into triangles now how many sides does a triangle have do you know that's right, a triangle has three sides. So now we want to get our um, triangle um, made out of three equal sides. And here's one really great way to do that. So we're gonna fold them in each end and on top of each other like this. And we want to fold them until each side is kind of about the same side. So now we have about three equal sides. So we're gonna go ahead and fold these again, get it into the shape of a triangle and use our tape to tape it together. There you go. Okay, so now that we have one triangle in the correct size, we can easily take the next one, fold it so that it is the same size. So we need to take all of these sheets of paper and turn them into a triangle that looks like this. Let's do that now. All right, now we're gonna move on to our smallest strips of paper. We're going to turn these guys into circles. Can you tell me how many sides a circle has? That's right, circles only have one side. So we actually don't need to make any folds like we did on the triangles or on our square. All we need is a piece of tape and we're going to connect one end of our piece of paper to the other end. And now we have 
a circle. So I need six of these circles. Let's turn our uh, six strips into six circles. All right, so let's get started by making our snowflake. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our square. We're gonna take three triangles and put one on each corner of the square and one in the middle. I kind of want these to be at a little angle like this. Imagine if you drew an X through your square and want that X to match up with the side of the triangle. Then I'm going to take three other triangles and I'm gonna line up the sides of those triangles with the triangles that are already there. Then I'm gonna take three of my circles and put them on our snowflake. Now, do you think that this looks like a snowflake so far? I think it needs a little bit of work. Now, remember, when we talked about making a snowflake, we talked about symmetry. So one side of the snowflake needs to look exactly like the other side. So this is a game that you can try at home. Set up one side of your snowflake and see if you can create um, a symmetrical snowflake by matching one side. So this is one way that you can try to solve our, um, our snowflake problem here. Now we want the other side to be symmetrical. All right, good job making a snowflake with me today. So I have a final challenge for you. We have a bunch of different shapes that make up our snowflake. And each of those shapes have a certain amount of sides. Remember, a circle has one side, a triangle, has three sides and a square has four sides. So can you count all of the sides of all of the shapes in our snowflake and let us know at GCM at home how many sides you counted? Can you get the right answer? Thank you so much for joining me today at GCM at home. We will see you next time.